Ho, 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 ho. <clears throat> I don't know what came over me. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Brave X Hero, and today I've got a special gift for you guys. Ah, you see what I did there? Since, you know, Christmas is around the corner, special gift. Never mind. Today, we're going to be covering the new dawning weapon and some of the returning dawning weapons with their new perks. We're going to be going over the best PvP roles and the best PvE roles. Look, normally I skip over the dawning and don't even play it. Maybe I get one weapon, maybe I don't get any at all. But this season, it's different, and there's a reason for that. Guys, one of the newest weapons we're getting with the dawning is going to be a weapon that dominates PvP, and you're going to regret not getting the god roll. And for those wondering, the dawning goes live December 13th, and you can obtain any of these weapons on today's list. Now let's take a look at the newest dawning weapon for 2022. The first weapon on today's list is going to be the newest dawning weapon, and that is going to be the Stay Frosty Pulse Rifle. This is a 450 RPM lightweight frame pulse rifle. Now, after taking a look at some of the perks, I can say that this weapon is going to be great for both PvP and PvE. For starters, as you can tell, this is an Amalon style pulse rifle, which is similar to our Ogma PR6, which if you haven't used in PvE, it is a pretty good gun. The only difference here is that unlike the Ogma, which is an energy weapon, the Stay Frosty is a kinetic pulse rifle. And to be honest, it comes with a lot better perks. When it comes to choosing a god roll for both PvE and PvP, the Stay Frosty needs to have Arrowhead Break. This is going to give you an 85 recoil direction and lower your bounce intensity to 15. Now in the second column, you can choose either Ricochet Rounds or High Caliber Rounds. For PvE, I recommend High Caliber Rounds. For PvP, I recommend Ricochet Rounds. But either or will work best in any activity. Now in the third column, for my PvP demons out there, you want to go with the perk Moving Target. This is going to passively increase your aim assist by 10 and greatly reduce the movement speed penalty you get when you ADS and start strafing. As for PvE, eh, you can go with Moving Target if you want, just so you can have one solid pulse rifle to use in both activities, or you can always go with the perk Thresh. This is going to give you a little bit of super energy every time you kill an enemy combatant. Now in the final column, you have two solid options. You can either go with Kill Clip for that bonus damage after every kill, or if you plan on getting Precision Final Blows, the perk Desperado can increase your fire rate on this weapon. Now these are good solid options for both PvE and PvP, but I wouldn't really discard any of these pulse rifles that come with the perk Headstone. If you really want to get fancy and create a stasis build, Headstone is a great perk. Now getting into our next weapon, we have the returning favorite, the Cold Front. This is an aggressive frame kinetic SMG. For starters, this is a great SMG, but heed my warning. When it comes to selecting a god roll, your rolls are going to be significantly different for both PvE and PvP. For PvE, you really benefit from the barrel, fluted barrel. This is going to increase your stability by 5 and your handling by 15. But for PvP, the barrel full bore will benefit you the most. This gives you a plus 15 in the range department. And guys, trust me, if you're really going to use this SMG in PvP, you want as much range as possible. The more range you get with this SMG, the more competitive it becomes. Now in the second column over, for PvP, range, range, range. This is why we're choosing the perk, Accurize Rounds, because we want that plus 10 in the range department. Now for PvE, we don't really care that much for range, which is why we're choosing the magazine Appendix Mag. This is going to give you a plus 2 to the magazine, bringing your magazine capacity from 27 to 29. Now getting into the third column, for PvP, you want the perk Tap to Trigger. This perk grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on the initial trigger pull, which is great to boost this weapon's overall consistency and make it a little bit more manageable. As for PvE, this was an easy choice. You want to use the perk Subsistence. Defeating targets partially reloads the magazine from reserves. This is really going to benefit us a lot when it comes to selecting the next perk in the final column. For PvP, you have one solid option, and that's going to be the perk Rangefinder. This is going to increase your overall zoom effectiveness. And for PvE, you have two solid options. You have the perk Frenzy, or you can always go with the perk Rampage, which Rampage synergizes extremely well with the perk Subsistence. Now the next weapon we have on the list is going to be the Glacial Chasm. This is a high impact frame energy fusion rifle. And to quickly cover this weapon, you want to use the barrel Arrowhead Break. This is going to give you 100% recoil direction and lower your bounce intensity to zero, 
which is necessary when it comes to high impact frames. Now getting into the battery, for PVE, you want accelerated coils. Sure, this lowers your impact by five, but you have a faster charge time, which is great when you're using this fusion rifle to take down hordes of enemies. Now for PVP, this is the complete opposite. You want more stability and you want to keep your impact the same. This can be easily done with the battery particle repeater. This gives you a plus 10 to your stability. Now, regardless if you're jumping into PVE or PVP, you want to be able to run and gun with this fusion rifle. So in the third column over, you want to use the perk slide shot. This is going to temporarily boost the weapon's range, stability, and reload your magazine, which is a huge benefit in any activity. Now, choosing a perk in the fourth column will all be determined on what you use this weapon for. For PVE, you want to use the perk Reservoir Burst. When the battery is full, your next burst deals additional damage and causes enemies to explode on death. What more do you want? Bonus damage and your enemies explode? That's a win-win in my book. Now for PVP, you want to use the perk High Impact Reserves. Rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. This is going to give you a more consistent one-hit kill fusion rifle. Lastly, when it comes to choosing a masterwork, for PvP, you want to use a stability masterwork. And for PvE, you want to use a charge time masterwork. Now moving into our next weapon, I'll only be covering the PvE version of this. The reason for that is you shouldn't be using this weapon in PvP. There are way better options. Up next, we have the Avalanche. This is an adaptive frame machine gun. In our first column, Arrowhead Brick is the best option for you. Next over, we want high caliber rounds which gives you a plus 5 in the range department and adds just a little bit more flinch to your enemy combatants. Now in the final column, the only perk I recommend is the perk Incandescent. Now when it comes to choosing a masterwork, a handling masterwork is your best option. Now our final weapon on the list is another one that's only going to get a PvE option. And that weapon is none other than the Zypher. This is an adaptive frame sword. In the first column, the blade you want to go with is Jagged Edge. This is going to give you more damage at the cost of sword ammunition. In the next column over, you want Sword Master's Guard. This is going to help with the overall charge rate of this weapon. Now in the third column over, you want the perk Relentless Strikes. When you land three light attacks within a short time frame, this grants sword ammunition. Now in the fourth column, you have two solid options. From the perk Chain Reaction, if you want to see your enemies explode, or the perk Cold Steel, Powered Sword Hits applies slow stacks to your enemies. And there you have it, Dawning 2022. Yes, we got some returning weapons, but there's a lot of good perks that come with them. And we got one brand new weapon, which in my opinion is the best weapon on the list. And I highly recommend you get your hands on it. But before you go, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and click that like button. Also, if you're new to Destiny 2 and you're looking for people to group up with, you might want to consider joining my community discord. There's always a lot of fun events going on and people joining fire teams just to complete these events. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. You have a good one and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.